Researchers in Manitoba have made an exciting discovery. They have found what appears to be a complete fossilized skeleton of a mosasaur, the so-called T-Rex of the deep. Joining us is Adolfo Kutara, who is the executive director of the Canadian Fossil Discovery Centre in Morden, Manitoba. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, this must be a huge thrill. How did you find these fossils? Well, this is the result of the last uh, few years the, of improvements that we made in the center. Um, and it was found uh, by Jerry Peters, who's our field technician. He was uh, scratching, cleaning the surface in our property in the Manitoba Carmen uh, with a, a new excavator that we acquired last year. Um, he's very knowledgeable and, and just he felt that he was scratching the surface uh, that there was something there, just the one bone and one fossil just showing up from the surface and just stopped immediately the tractor and started to dig with hand tools. And, and just the, he realized at the time that it was not just an isolated bone, it was just showing up one vertebra, then another vertebra, another vertebra. And now even we are starting to find teeth and skull elements, so uh, it's very exciting to to be able to, to find this, this muscles. So do you think the skeleton is complete? Yes, in paleontology, we talk always a complete skeleton. We, when we find 70, 75, 80% of the skeleton, it's almost impossible to find 100%. There's always some element uh, missing, right? So um, right now we are about uh, half of the skeleton and we are pretty sure that this is gonna be very, very complete. Now, most of us are familiar with the fossil-rich Drumheller, Alberta, but you have your own very special window back in time right there in southern Manitoba. Tell us about that. This used to be a, a seabed. Exactly. So uh, 83 million years ago, there were uh, an interior seaway, like a, a channel of ocean communicating the Gulf of Mexico with the Arctic, Arctic Ocean and the Hudson Bay. So at that time, Manitoba was completely under this interior warm swallow sea. And Drumheller, Drumheller in Alberta, they were in the west coast of this interior seaway. So that's why they find dinosaurs because they were animal, uh, land animals, and we only find marine uh, animals. What else might you find buried underneath the earth? Well, uh, we have Bruce. This is the biggest uh, mosasaur uh, skeleton in display in the world and uh, next year because this is by chance uh, we we will acquire a piece of land that is the continuation of where bruce was found in the 70s so we have high expectations about that uh, portion of land because all the animals all the specimens we found there are huge and uh, so we have really big expectations about what we can find uh, this year and next year. Adolfo Kutera, Executive Director of the Canadian Fossil Discovery Centre in Morden, Manitoba, thank you. Thank you.